Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to show you the project that I've been working on for the last month or more, and that is the solar-powered car. Now, that doesn't mean that the car is driven down the road by solar power. It only means that I can run various things that are powered by the solar power panel that is on my hood that is connected to the battery that is behind my passenger seat and then I've got an inverter under there and then a controller there. I'm going to show you the whole freaking thing. First, I positioned the solar panel and connected it to the hood with six bolts and the bolts have rubber to cushion the solar panel from the vibration of driving, etc. There's rubber, steel, rubber, washers in between. And then... Okay. Okay, and so... Then you can see they're fastened underneath like so. And it wasn't easy to just drill holes in my car, but, you know, if you want it to be secure and you don't want it going anywhere, that's what you have to do. It's an old car, and so we're not worried about it. So, um, the two batteries are interconnected. And the red line and the black line you can see there connect the two batteries, and then the lines run through the firewall down there. In between the two batteries, is this little unit called a battery isolator and when I turn off the ignition this one goes to the ignition and shuts off the connection between the two batteries so when the car is not running then anything that's running off the system cannot draw on the car battery off of the car battery and that's good because you want the car to start okay so the solar wires go and are once again they are connected with a couple of holes i drilled in the hood and zip ties i know rudimentary but it's very strong and it works great and then there's a little hole right there that i had to cut in this plastic sheath deal that covers my windshield wiper mechanisms in there so i had to cut that hole right there and that goes through, the wires go through, and once again, through the firewall where the other two wires go through. Okay? I'll show you those now. There you go. All going through the firewall. And those little marks, I've marked that one as the positive, so that I know. Okay, and then the wires go back here. They go back here, and then there's, there's fuses in between a lot of things. Everything has a fuse in between it. So that if there's a short, it blows the fuse instead of blowing the whatever, the battery or the inverter. This is a 300 watt go power pure sign inverter. And that changes, that inverts, it changes the DC into AC so that I can run anything like an appliance. Like this, for instance. Okay, so there's my extension cord that's connected to the inverter there. And then I can just plug it in there like so. Oh, I've got to turn on the inverter. Okay, the green light right here shows that it's on. This is a heavy-duty osterizer, and I wasn't sure if it would run it or not, so I tested it with... Oh, I forgot to bring it. I've got a tester that tests how much wattage, voltage, amperage, etc. for each appliance so that I know that I'm not going to blow my uh, inverter. And so, it'll be, I'll, this is something that I'll be running regularly. A slow cooker I'll be running while I'm driving down the road. A cell phone and 
And the cell phone, like, I can plug, I can plug the cell phone into the controller. Okay, so this is the controller, and it controls the electricity coming in from the solar panel going into the battery. And then I can run, it's got two USB 3 ports right there. So I can plug in an iPhone or whatever that runs off of that. If I want to charge my computer, I can just plug it into this. Um, and I can do all this while I'm driving down the road. So the hours and hours that I'm driving down the road can be, you know, I can charge all kinds of things. And also, I've got a fridge. Okay, so... This is the new Dometic 35. And I got a cover for it to keep it cooler. And it holds 1.1 cubic feet is not bad it's not big but you see it's got a lot thicker walls than the old Dometic and so it's better insulated but at the same time it takes up more space but these are a lot better rated and um, yeah I'm excited so I've driven this car at least a hundred miles probably a couple hundred miles since I installed the solar panel on the hood and it's absolutely cool, no problems whatsoever. One thing that was suggested to me by somebody else is to put one of those plastic deflectors on the front of the hood, and I may or may not do that, I don't know. The rocks out west can be pretty brutal, as we know, from hitting the windshields. I used to repair windshields in Utah. But one other thing that I wanted to show you that's so cool about having it on the hood is pretty obvious. There's the sun, and that's as high as the hood can raise. I wish it could raise a little bit higher to be able to get to that sun, but that's almost direct. That is almost direct. Let's see what it's putting into. It's giving it 3.7, 3.7 amps. That's pretty good. I just barely raised that, and as it warms up, it gets higher and higher, okay? I can also, if the sun is higher in the sky, I can take... I can take the bar here and put it over here so that it lowers the hood about a foot. Okay, so then I would get a more direct hit onto the hood there. Or, if it's summertime and the sun is like straight up in the sky, then I can just put the hood all the way down and turn the car straight into the sun. As you can see, I'm getting totally geared for doing some traveling and some teaching. I'm starting to write down all these things that I have planned. Okay, so... I'm going to teach some Thai massage classes out and about in the public, at parks and stuff, because Thai massage can be done with clothing. That it is done with clothing on. Um, massage in the wild. I'm going to do some massage out in front of various waterfalls and mountains, etc. Hikes in scenic places and scenic places in general. And, um, you know, if you have an idea that would be really rocking good for me to do. I think I'm going to start out with just local stuff around the south. But if you have an idea that you'd like to turn me on to, please write it down below or email brett at vitalitymassage.net. Thanks for joining me. Be well.